Good morning, class. Good morning, teacher. Today, we're going to dive into another interesting idiom called get your head around it. Can anyone take a guess at what this idiom might mean? Does it mean understanding something challenging? Excellent guess, Tony. You're on the right track. When we say that someone gets their head around something, it means they are able to understand or comprehend something that was initially difficult or complex. Let's explore this idiom further. Does it imply a struggle or a process of figuring something out? Absolutely, Amber. Getting your head around something often implies a struggle or an effort to mentally process and make sense of a concept or idea that is initially hard to grasp. It can require time, focus, and concentration. Could you provide us with an example to help us understand it better? Of course. Let's say you're studying a challenging math problem. At first, you find it confusing and struggle to understand the steps to solve it. However, after spending some time working through it, asking questions, and seeking guidance, you finally get your head around it and successfully solve the problem. I see. So, it's like when you overcome the initial difficulty of understanding something? Exactly, Anna. It's about conquering the initial obstacle of comprehension and reaching a point where the concept or idea becomes clear and understandable. Can you provide another example, please? Certainly. Let's imagine you're learning a new language, and the grammar rules seem overwhelming at first. But as you dedicate time to studying and practicing, you start to get your head around the grammar and begin to construct sentences correctly. I think I understand now. Are there any synonyms for this idiom? Excellent question, Bob. Yes, there are a few similar expressions you can use to convey a similar meaning, such as wrap your mind around it or grasp the concept. These expressions all emphasize the process of understanding something challenging. Now, let's explore some real-life conversation examples. I'm really struggling with this new software. I can't seem to figure it out. Don't worry, it takes time. Once you spend some more hours exploring its features and functionalities, you'll start to get your head around it. I hope so. It's frustrating not being able to use it effectively. I understand. Learning new software can be challenging, but I'm confident you'll get there. Just keep practicing and asking for help when needed. In this conversation, the idiom get your head around it is used to encourage someone who is finding it difficult to understand and use new software. Kevin assures Aria that with time and effort, they will overcome the initial challenge and become proficient in using the software. I've been trying to read this complex scientific article, but the concepts are beyond me. It's understandable. Sometimes scientific literature can be difficult to comprehend. Just take it one step at a time and keep reading. Eventually, you'll get your head around it, and the concepts will become clearer. I hope so. It feels overwhelming at the moment. Remember, even experts in the field initially struggled with these concepts. It's a gradual process, but with perseverance, you'll gain a deeper understanding. In this conversation, the idiom get your head around it is used to provide reassurance to someone who is struggling to understand a complex scientific article. Jane acknowledges the difficulty but encourages Jenny to persist, assuring them that understanding will come with time. I just got assigned a major project at work, and it involves a lot of technical aspects. I'm not sure I can handle it. It's natural to feel overwhelmed when faced with a big project, especially if it involves technical complexities. But don't worry, you'll get your head around it. Break down the task, seek guidance from colleagues, and take it step by step. You're right. I need to approach it systematically instead of getting discouraged. Exactly. Remember, you successfully completed challenging projects before. This one is no different. With a focused mindset and the right support, you'll conquer it. In this conversation, the idiom get your head around it is used to motivate and provide guidance to someone who feels overwhelmed by a challenging work project. 
Matthew encourages Nancy to tackle the project systematically and emphasizes their past successes as a reminder of their capabilities. All right, class, that concludes our lesson on the meaning of the idiom, get your head around it. I hope you now have a clearer understanding of this idiom. I encourage you to create your own sentences using this idiom. Think of different situations where understanding something challenging requires effort and persistence. Keep up the great work, and see you in our next class.